They're coming. They're coming your way. They'll be here soon. Will you be ready? everyone we're just over halfway done with Dramathon 2. I hope you all enjoyed it so far. Hope you guys have been having a good time and that I'm not really killing myself over nothing. I've lost a lot of sleep and had a lot of stress because of this so I seriously hope you enjoy it. Well seeing as how we're pretty much halfway through Dramathon I'd figure I'd use this time to take on some user suggestions and dive into some of your scariest traumas as kids. I asked all of you through a community post what exactly you're scared of and what you were scared of as a kid. And now, after 250 comments and 3000 likes, I'll be taking a look at some of them. Now of course, I've already been taking down some of the more popular suggestions given to me. After all, Traumathon isn't just what scares me as a kid, but what scared all of us. Yet there are some unique traumas and scary moments that aren't really heavily suggested to me or just personal to some of you. And that's what we're going to be looking into now. If you don't see your suggestion here, then don't worry. Chances are I either didn't see your suggestion or you just suggested something that is already highly requested and being made into a future episode. Since I'll be covering a wide array of suggestions from all over, don't expect me to go into too much detail as previous videos. I'll just be taking a quick look over some of your personalized nightmares. Let's start off with Megan Leatherman's suggestion, which was E.T.'s lifeless corpse. The scene in E.T. where Elliot finds E.T.'s pale lifeless corpse by the river and the following scene where he comes back from the dead, rambling loudly in that weird casket body bag, always scared the hell out of me as a kid, and since it was the 90s, I would have had to be right in front of the TV to fast forward the tape so I would either turn the volume down and hide under the blanket or leave the room until the offending scenes were over. Not sure why the rest of the movie didn't bother me. I never actually watched E.T. as a kid, in fact I always thought it was a boring movie, and if I were to be completely honest, hell, I, I still haven't watched it even as an adult, but E.T.'s design was always freaky to me. His design always had this like sort of offness about it. The wrinkled skin, the creepy voice, I, I don't know, I, I just don't like him. It's hard to imagine this movie was such a big hit. Seeing him all pale and deathly, I mean it's no wonder you'd be scared, but I mean, to me he was always really freaky and kind of shitty looking. Here's another suggestion by Yeatmaster. I can't be the only one who thought the butterfly close-up from Spongebob was scary as hell as a kid, right? I get a few of these requests too, actually, but I never really thought it was a warranting of an episode. I probably wouldn't have much to say about it either. There was just one episode where Spongebob and Patrick had to take care of Sandy's worm named well, Wormy, which after metamorphosizing into some butterfly, this butterfly scares both Spongebob and Patrick after they think that it ate Wormy, not realizing that the butterfly itself is just wormy, well, as a butterfly. To them, it's a horrifying death creature of doom, though. I remember when they jump cut to the butterfly's face up close, and it was a live action stock footage of a butterfly, and I mean, it was the funniest shit I saw as a kid. And the way the city reacts to the butterfly just flying around, everyone causing mayhem, and I, I mean, I, that shit got me cackling. Though I can see how it can spook some kids, as it's a harsh juxtaposition from the bubbly, colorful cartoon to this dull, scary close-up thing of a bug. And I'm currently dating someone who is deathly afraid of bugs, so I can see it through her point of view as to why it's pretty freaking scary. But to me though, I, I just thought it was kind of funny. But again, it wasn't much, so I couldn't make it into an episode. BJ Khaled also had an interesting topic. I can think of one. So there was this game on the Nickelodeon website way back in the 2000s, and the premise is that it takes place on Halloween and you are giving trick-or-treaters candy, but you can't at any point give the kids black licorice. You have a bag full of candy, but at one point at the bottom of the bag is black licorice. And you have no other choice but to give the kids black licorice. When you give it to them, if I remember correctly, I was under 10 when I played it, they say, I don't like black licorice, and you get jump scared as the game ends. Anyways, I pinpoint this game as to why I refuse to eat licorice for so fucking long. Genuinely traumatizing stuff, especially when you're under 10, lol. 
This is pretty insane. I've actually never heard of this one, but when I looked into it, holy shit, this is scary. So apparently this is part of a Flash game series on Nickelodeon called Nickelodeon Clickamajigs. They were really short and just simple little Flash games, mostly just humor, honestly. Like you just click on something and then you get like a Flash movie real quick. One of them was called Black Licorice, and it was a special Halloween game where you just gotta give the kids candy, as well BJ Khaled said. But you're not allowed to give them black licorice. Uh-oh, you just gave that little girl licorice. What's gonna happen? Oh my fucking god. This is terrifying. Honestly, as a kid, I'd hate this so much. And what's funny is that this is supposed to act as some sort of prank or gag game. You know the ones, those flash games that they're meant to really mock or prank the person playing them. After you realize all the tricks, the game gives you an opportunity to go ahead and prank one of your friends by sending them this via email. Well, when you do, they'll be in for a surprise. There's also one last jump scare at the end when you don't have any black licorice at all and you think you're safe. You give all the candy to the kids and then bam, fucking jump scares you back to reality. It's devious, sure, but honestly, as much as I'd hate it as a kid, I'd probably love to just prank some of my friends if I had the opportunity. Rob then says, Scariest thing to me as a kid was Mimi in Super Paper Mario. That section where she just straight up became a spider made me quit the game for a year. I've heard a few people talk about this, but I've never really played Super Paper Mario, so I can't really tell you much about the game. I do know that it was always this scene and the river twigs that got people really scared, and man, if it weren't for the fact that I haven't played Super Paper Paper Mario, I'd probably talk about both. I mean, even if I haven't played it, I would still talk about it, but there's really not that much info I can really delve into. Still, when it comes to the Mimi scene, like I said, a few people mention it here and there when it comes to kid-friendly games with spooky elements, but that sort of faded away as the years went on, so I'm not really sure it affected that many people as I think it did. It's scary, sure, but in a way, I always thought it was just some twisted joke. Mimi seems like the cutesy girl who tries to act posh and cute, but in reality, is a sadistic brat with a dark power, a pretty common trope. Though I suppose if you're arachnophobic, you'd be pretty scared of this one encounter. Shitlord Diabetes then suggested, The Scary Maze Game. The thing has caused me so much nightmares over the years, it's really messed up. This is one of those suggestions that I know is really popular, but I just can't make a decent video out of it. I mean, how am I supposed to make a video that can last longer than maybe two or three minutes out of just this scary maze game? But we all know it exists and still exists to this day. Probably the very first jump scare any of us have ever encountered. Hell, I bet if you looked up jump scare in the dictionary, this game would be in it. I unfortunately don't know too many people who actually got pranked this way though, growing up. By the time I learned about it, it was already getting popular and people grew wise to it. I never really personally played it, mainly because I was scared of it as a kid, and because now, as an adult, I don't need to. I know what's gonna happen, so what's the point? And if you don't really know what happens in this scary maze game, well, as it suggests, you use your mouse to navigate through this maze and then you get to the end. Simple, right? Well, you get through a few levels, you think you're doing pretty good, but then here comes this really complicated level. If I'm not mistaken, I think this was supposed to test, well, quote unquote, test your hand-eye coordination, like some bullshit like that, and you were supposed to navigate this tiny mouse, this tiny mouse through this tiny little maze, and of course, if you reach to the end, you get this. It's a really mean prank, but like I said, never really seen it happen to anyone personally, but there's a ton of funny videos out of it, so I really suggest just watching those if you really can, if they're still around, I mean, it's old. It's a classic, and I approve these kinds of shenanigans. John Balnus said, I walked in on my parents on Halloween. My mom was dressed as Dorothy, and my dad was the Tin Man. Oh, God. I pray for you, man. Nero Redman then suggested, probably a bit cliche, but those Minecraft sounds slash songs horrified me as a kid to the point of just playing it on mute. Minecraft will probably make a Traumathon episode someday, though maybe not this year, but I do acknowledge that there's a near endless well of creepy material in Minecraft. I remember first playing it when I was younger and getting scared of the night. There's so many weird and strange noises that come at you at night that you really can't process what everything is. Not the first time you play it anyways. 
And I know, I know I'm about to do my boy real dirty right now. But check out Omni's first time playing this game, bro. Like, this is legit how some people feel playing this game for the first time. I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm lost, y'all. This is like... <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay, wait. Where? How do I pull a fucking map? <laughs> okay, okay. I'll keep moving. I'll keep moving. I can't pull a map. I just gotta wander around the world. Eat. Oh! What is hitting me? Yo, he has armor? This dude has... I don't blame him. I'm not, I'm like, I'm not making fun of him for showing this. I, I legit don't blame him for feeling this way. This fucking game is horribly scary. Also, follow him on Twitch and give him a little sub. I love him, despite him being bald. You sinful motherfucker. Stick around for more, everyone. I kind of like doing this video, so I think I'm just going to make a part two for tomorrow. Let's just consider this a sort of walk down memory lane, a user suggestion weekend. I hope you guys like it, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Stick around, there's more. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you a ton.